Yes. President Joe Biden on Tuesday vowing that the U.S. will retaliate for the deadly attack on U.S. forces in Jordan over the weekend. Biden declined to say how or when the response would come and said that Iran is responsible for supplying the weapons used in the attack, although he stopped short of saying that the country was directly involved in this strike. I don't think we need a wider war in the Middle East. That's not what I'm looking for. The drone attack left three Americans dead and more than 40 injured. Those killed, members of the 718th Engineer Company, based out of Fort Moore, Georgia. The drone hit while many were still sleeping. Brianna was always an amazing person. She just light up a room. Francine Moffett is remembering her daughter Brianna, killed in the attack at just 23 years old. She was my firstborn. And... She was always there for like everybody and she was just so amazing. The drone strike is the latest in a series of attacks by Iran-backed militia groups. The Department of Defense saying that there have been at least 165 attacks against U.S. and coalition forces in Iraq and Syria since mid-October. And in the Red Sea, another Iran-backed group, the Houthis, have been attacking commercial shipping for months, prompting U.S. military strikes against the military group in Yemen. There will be consequences. A Pentagon spokesman, Major General Patrick Ryder, saying on Tuesday that the response to the deadly drone strike will be a strong one. I don't think we could be any more clear uh, that we have called on the Iranian proxy groups to stop their attacks. Uh, they have not. Uh, and so... Uh, we will respond in a time and manner of our choosing. Now, the president will go to Delaware on Friday, where the bodies of the three fallen soldiers will be returned to the U.S. We're told that Biden asked permission from the families first in a phone call on Tuesday. This was the deadliest attack on U.S. personnel since 13 service members were killed in Kabul in the closing days of the Afghanistan withdrawal. In Washington, I'm Evan Kozlov, Spectrum News.